you are getting ready for the interview which has been scheduled for the next couple of weeks and now wanted to start applying your coding knowledge by solving some problems and you are not really sure about which coding platforms to choose so let me tell you you are at the right place before we start here is a problem which is a easy difficulty level pause for a couple of seconds and let me know if you are able to solve this question this problem was easy isn't it but it wasn't for me two months back How will you solve this search insert problem? What other concepts you know? Python. I know full form of OP, object oriented Python. And hence, I'll be talking about the five coding platforms which I personally visit before giving any interview. And I sorted them based on the difficulty level from easy, medium, and hard. So let's start the video. So the first basic one comes here is a Code Academy. Code Academy provides us an interactive coding environment where developers can write and execute code directly in their web browsers. This hands-on approach helps reinforce theoretical knowledge with practical application. So this hands-on approach is very much useful to apply your theoretical knowledge. They also provide a variety of a cheat sheet design that will help you revise concepts. So a starting point for your interview preparation. Now let's advance your learning with the next step with the Edabit. Edabit is kind of a fun online playground where you can get a better at coding through different challenges. It's a kind of a, like a playing a game and as you solve challenges you earn a points and move up levels. So for example, they might start with the coding problems with just adding the two numbers. Once you get that right, you can move forward a bit trickier task like creating a simple function. So the challenges come in in the different levels like easy, medium and hard. So you can start where you feel comfortable and work your way up. Now let's make your skill little medium by using Hacker Earth. Hacker Earth is like an online playground where you can have fun with the coding challenges and show how good you are. It's a bit like a playing games but instead of scores, you solve the puzzles and do cool coding stuff. They have competitions where you can compete with others to solve interesting problems like finding the quickest way between the two places of the map. The crucial part of Hacker Earth is companies use Hacker Earth so as to find the good developers for their companies. So it's like a chance to show off your skills and get the job. Besides competitions, you can take a test on Hacker Earth to see how good you are at different coding things. They cover topics like algorithms, data structures, which might sound complicated, but it's a like a friendly way to check how well you are doing and where you can get better. So there is also community section where you can go ask the questions, learn from them and try to solve the similar problem with different solutions. Fourth coding platform comes here is a data quest. Data quest. It is like an adventure where you learn about the coding. They have lessons and stories, kind of like articles that teach you and you also get to do challenges to practice what you have learned. It's a bit like a learning journey where you can choose what you want to learn. The one thing I like about the code quest is the problems they give you to practice is a role specific. Let's say you want to become a data engineer. The questions you will practice will have those kind of questions only. And that is very crucial to give any specific role kind of interview. Now let's make your skill a little harder with our fifth coding platform called as a hacker rank and the lit code. Hacker and lit code has a many different challenges in areas like algorithms, data structures and AI. They organize the challenge by the difficulty. So you can start with the easier ones and move on to the harder ones. So one special thing about both of these platforms is most of the job interviews for the big tech companies have been asked from this platform. So if you solve at least uh, 20 or 30 percent of the problem available on the lit code and the hacker rank, you have a chance to get to see similar type of questions in your interview. This makes it really useful for the people who want to be well prepared for the technical job interviews. One more reason to use this platform is a discussion phase. In the LitCode discussion section, people share details about their salaries, common interview questions, culture and other helpful insights. So it's not just about the practicing code, it's just like getting insider tips to estimate your own value in the job market. You can guess questions that ask in the interview and hence will do well in the interviews. In a summary, each of this platform has been designed in a unique way so you can pull out the maximum information you can get from that particular coding platform. I have designed this video so that you can be started with the easy medium questions like using the Edabit and try to excel yourself by using a harder coding platform like HackerRank and I suggest checking this coding platform in the order I have mentioned in this video and get ready for the interview. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If please give the video a thumbs up and if you are new in the channel consider subscribing to Coding for Beginners. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.